Okay, so this week we are gonna work on how to make a simple pattern brush. So you can do this with any kind of shape. So I'm gonna do it with my little heart here. So I'm gonna have my artwork here. Again, you could pick a star, whatever you want to practice with. But I'm gonna go right here, and then I'm gonna go to Window Brushes to open up my brushes panel. And then I'm gonna hit the plus sign, and this time I'm going to hit Pattern Brush and hit OK. Here I'm going to name it Hertz. Leave the scale fixed. I'm gonna turn down the size just a little bit. Spacing, I'm definitely gonna adjust. You can see I was gonna change here in the preview. I wanna make sure we have a little bit more spacing. You can just do it until you like it. The corners we're gonna talk about in a minute. We're also going to do approximate pass so it doesn't stretch the shape. And then if you wanna be able to change the color of the brush, make sure you hit hue shift. And then I'm gonna hit okay. So now you can see I can use my pattern brush here. I'm gonna make it the stroke and I make, make it into a circle. I can draw whatever kind of line I want and use this cute little art brush. So you can change the size of it by changing the size of the stroke here. Let's making it smaller. I can make it bigger, but you can see here that when I go to make something with corners, the corners do not look perfect. So what I'm going to do here with my original heart, I'm going to go to object, pattern, make, then I'm just going to hit OK, X out of that, and then I'm going to double click on my stroke here, and under the corners, I'm going to go to new pattern, the pattern that I just made. And I'm going to do that same thing, this one here, for the option for this one right here, and then I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to apply to strokes. And then you can see how much better this square looks. It looks perfect. So again, I can now use this brush for whatever I want to make a cute little heart pattern. So you can do this with any kind of shapes. This is the simplest version here when I'm just using one single shape. So now that we've done a simple pattern brush, I'm gonna show you one that's a little bit more complicated. I'm sure you see a lot of cute like greenery borders. This is very popular right now. And you can create a pattern brush this way but it's a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So some things to note initially is that Illustrator is going to base the connection of the pattern brush off of the topmost part of your artwork. So if you're doing like a floral, you wanna make sure that your stem is taller than your tallest leaf. Otherwise it's gonna be basing it off of the leaf. And you wanna make sure that your bottom stem is kind of as short as possible from my experience is usually what kind of works best there. The next thing is that once you are creating this brush, you need to create it horizontally. So I'm going to rotate that there. It's generally easier to draw these vertically, I would say, at least for me. But when you are creating the pattern brush, you need to turn it horizontally. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm just going to hit this plus button here in the brushes panel. If you don't see this, go up to window brushes and then it'll pop up. You're going to hit pattern brush and then you're going to hit OK. So you can see here, you can name your brush. So we can call this greenery. You want the spacing to be zero, which means they're gonna line up tight next to each other. Corners can get a little bit tricky. We're probably gonna talk about that in an additional video. I'm gonna leave it as auto sliced for now and leave this slide tile here as is. The thing that you do want to change is make it approximate path because otherwise it's going to stretch out your artwork and have it look kind of weird in different places that you may be using it. And then for the color method, in order to be able to change the color of this to be any color that you want, you want to make sure that you do hue shift. And then I'm going to hit OK. You can see that it popped up here in my brushes panel. So I can move that over. Now, if I grab the paintbrush and I draw whatever kind of line, since my brush is selected, it automatically hit that. But look how cute it is. Super cute. You can adjust the size of it just like you did with your other one by changing the stroke. Super, super cute. I love to use these. They really make your artwork more efficient. So again, you can do this with any kind of shape. Right now, it's just the outline. I have to click on the brush to get it. I can make it smaller. I can change the color to whatever I want it to be. I can do this with any kind of shape or whatever I want to do. We will have a separate conversation about how to save these. But right now, since I'm in the same document, it's going to pop up. You can see the corners can get a little bit wonky. That's one thing that tends to not be perfect here with these. But overall, super cute brush. 
So that's an easy way to make a type of floral pattern brush. Again, it's a little bit more complicated. Keep in mind everything I talked about with the top edge and the bottom edge and turning it horizontally. Otherwise, you might run into some issues there. So that's how you make a more complicated pattern brush. Thanks for joining me today. I would love to see how you're doing on your designs. Feel free to tag me on Instagram and share how you're doing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel where I'm going to drop new tutorials every Tuesday. You can also find me on social media, on Instagram, on TikTok. I love to share more personal business there, how to be a mom while juggling work and life and design, as well as sharing more font inspiration and ways that you can improve your design. So thanks for joining me today.